Hi everyone, Alice Brown and Lady V here, bringing you another haul. This one's a little bit different today. We actually um, had to run over to the next town over for a quick trip. I had some things that had to be returned um, from to Amazon. That's and, the only UPS store yeah, near so us. Yeah, I had to go to the UPS store from the next <laughs> town over. And so while we were over there, we decided to go ahead and try... Uh, we went to Walmart. I had to pick up a couple things there. Yep. And this is actually the first time I've been in a Walmart in a couple months. So uh, we found a couple really cute things that we decided we'd bring you. And then we went from there over to TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx and found a lot of really nice stuff. So Definitely some good deals at TJ Maxx. Yeah, so, so this is a really good haul yeah. with some really good gems. <laughs> so we're going to start with Walmart first. <laughs> we're going to start with the Walmart. So show us what you got. So of course my area was mostly cats, but there is something else at the end of the, this segment that I'll show you. But we had to go pick up some kitty food and of course they had some really darling toys. Look at these things and they they rattle. Aww. But they kind of reminded me of Mardi, Mardi Gras because of the colors, the uh -huh. bright vibrant colors. I don't think we're anywhere near Mardi Gras holiday, but you know, I picked them up anyways because I thought they were really cute. And the kittens are getting ready to turn one year old. One year so old, yes. Had to get some birthday gifts. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I was going to say with birthday coming, we had to yep. get. And uh, Guardian especially loves like miniature stuffed animals that you can roll into catnip. And so I found these two little rhino. Well, one's an elephant and one's a rhino. And those are so cute. And then these I had I to pick these. up because the top one reminds me of rainbow fish. the rainbow fish yes. when I was a kid. And I had the little finger puppet that went with it. Yes, you did. And it it looked that. almost identical uh -huh. to this. So I just, I had to pick it up. Remember, those are too cute. Those are too Definitely going to roll those into so, some catnip and those are going to go away for yeah, their birthday yeah. in just a couple. Well, we will be celebrating their birthday with their uh, siblings because my best friend has uh, the two sisters, yep. and so we're getting them all together for the day. We're actually going over to her house. So everybody's to celebrate. Be having fun with play yeah, toys. Um, she, as a matter of fact, I talked to her yesterday. She's doing a thing where she's getting some tuna, and uh, she said, "I wish I could, I could figure out how to put a cat candle or come up with Aww. some kind of cat candle on it." And I said, "Well, the tuna fish will work." So. <laughs> yeah, the tuna fish will work. <laughs> and then I think we're going to get some cupcakes or something because Shadow's going over with us. We wanted to make sure he was included. Yeah. Um, so we picked him something up also so he's got something to unwrap because you'll have to stay understand. tuned for the TJ Maxx part of this yes, haul yes, to so see that's that. where we got his stuff at and um, we'll probably get some cupcakes or something which yep. he'll enjoy so he loves vanilla cupcakes yep <laughs> from Publix they from, Publix, from yes. Publix it has to have Publix yes. icing on it <laughs> He loves Publix. <laughs> Our animals aren't spoiled. <laughs> okay, so we found some makeup. Um, I think, yeah, all this is wet and wild. They had a new display of things that I hadn't seen any of this stuff at any of the different stores I went to. This is a three-in-one face mist. FM, whatever that is. But anyway, it's a, it's a facial spray. Looks like it's got some little shimmers in it. It does, yeah. And I just thought that was so cute. So three in one is probably works as a primer, a setter, and a refresher. Most likely, that's yeah, usually what the, it works as. You see some of the little little stuff at the bottom, right there at the bottom. So anyway, we thought we'd get it, but the brushes. Oh, the brushes were so cute. Can we open these up? Yeah, we can open these up. Okay, we we'll probably show them. These a bit better. remind me, you used to have a keychain years ago. I that still I... have that. It's still in my desk. You still have yes, it? Oh I my still goodness. Have it. I called it my magic wand. Yep. But it had the glitter that's just like this, and it was just a, a big, like a big wand or keychain. Actually, the, I used to have both. I used to have a little keychain and then and the big the one. Wand, yep. I don't have the little keychain anymore. Okay, I you still have the wand, the purple wand. The, okay. Yeah, I call it, I call it my, my magic wand. But I just thought that was so cute to it's be a nice little like, brush. blush brush. And I, I picked yes. this one up because I needed a new highlighter brush. It's really cute. And again, it's the exact same with all the sparkles at the bottom. I thought that was just too cute. That is just that adorable. Up. So and this is Wet n Wild for. And I don't think I mentioned that. Um, here is the package. Wet n Wild. I've ha I have several Wet n Wild eye brushes and oh, yeah, every we, single one of them. Actually, I have a blush brush too. When they love came out with this type of a brush, you All and I white searched. Ones. Yeah, it was uh, the original um, handles were white, 
And Lady V and I searched high and low at CVS, Walgreens, we Walmart, went to every single every drug place store. we could find to find <laughs> as many of these as we can be, and they are wonderful. Now a lot of these are being sold, or the white ones anyway, not these, but the white, the original ones of this are sold at Dollar Tree. Are sold at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So um, I mean, these aren't that expensive. They're only like two or three dollars. Yeah, anyways. these aren't that bad. But um, yeah, if you're looking for new cute little brushes, if you got a teenager or you need some stocking stuffers, it'd be great. Oh yeah, for stocking definitely stuffers. stocking stuffers. Yeah, because I mean the packaging is really thin. Yeah, so it is. That's what they came in. Yeah, so those are just too cute. Definitely. All right, so, so that's so it for no. No, nope. we have oh, one more that's item. Right, that's right. I'm sorry. One more item. One more <laughs> item. I picked this up. Super, super cute and comfy. I can't wait to try this on. So I happened to stumble across. It was on the end, well, like a little corner. It was a display of sweat sets from No Boundaries. Now, real quick on No Boundaries, if you go to try them on in real in your normal size and they're a little tight. This company is known for running small, so mm -hmm. don't feel bad if you have to size up. I definitely do. Yeah, I do too. I've bought, uh, I think some of my uh, leggings or, or yep. uh, my yoga pants are no boundaries and I have yeah, to size I've, I've up. Yeah, I've had several so. things from no boundaries at Walmart and I always have to size up. Mm -hmm. But it came with this darling little hoodie. So you can see we got striped shoulder or striped arms and a little hood in the back. And what do you know, folks? She bought something that's not black. I know. Ninety-nine percent of her clothes is all black. But it's green. <laughs> it's got green. I like your, green. Your fiance will be so happy. I know. He will. <laughs> He's always trying to get me to wear pink. Does that count? Well, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm covered. <laughs> and then they had shorts to match. Aren't those just so cute? So. Very, very sure. soft, very comfy, yep. just a lounge, nice lounge outfit. And just to give you a quick idea on the price for these, the shirt was twelve ninety eight, and the shorts were seven ninety eight. So, so for an outfit, for just a matching over $20, outfit, yeah. that is a really good deal. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait to wear this. It looks so comfy. So that is it for our Walmart haul. Walmart now haul. we're going to go right into TJ Maxx because we, we literally just walked out of one store and went over to the next one anyway. Yep. So, you know, we're just going to call right in. So. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this out, these yes. out first. Okay. Let's, let's get this one. We, um, we hit the uh, pet area and stocked up on Mr. Shadow. Um, he has a birthday coming up the end of October, so yep. some of this will go for his birthday. Whatever's left, we'll put it away for Christmas. So, but we definitely um, are using one to use for uh, the kitten's birthday. So yes, he yeah. can get so something one of these, too. Yeah, like this one will definitely go for his birthday because it's fall anyway. That's so. And horrible. his birthday is right around th uh, Halloween. Halloween, so it'll um, he'll go with that, and just yeah, he'll love that. And I think, does it squeak? Yes, it squeaks. It does. Okay. All these squeak. I okay. checked them out in the store. All right. He's outside right now, so we can squeak yeah. the night out. <laughs> I thought this if was just... If you hear a bang, it's probably him headbutting the back door, door trying, trying to get to, in. Yeah, fine. <laughs> but I thought this was just oh, adorable. I had to get bear. this. Yeah. So, and it squeaks That's too. a good squeaker. Mm-hmm. And I always then, look for a certain squeaker. He likes certain squeakers better than others. This is just a little um, puppy puppy dog that I thought was just adorable. And they're super soft, too. They are very soft. Very, very soft. They actually Let's remind me of like a baby this. stuffed animal. There's a squeaker on him. So, got that. And, and then, then last, we, found this. we have a little alligator. Isn't he adorable? And, of course, <laughs> he squeaks. That's like one of his favorite squeaker noises. <laughs> So, but yes. also to continue with him at the checkout, definitely when you're at TJ Maxx, check out the checkout center because they tend to have a lot of really good stuff. Mm -hmm, they do. And just as we were getting ready to check out, I found his shampoo. Now, for the price I paid of this, I usually get a bottle that's half the size at Walmart. For just you know, like a dollar or two less. It's, yeah. yeah. This was an incredibly good deal. And this, this will get me through several shampoos or oh, yeah. se take, several baths. That will actually take us into well into next year. So. Yeah. So <laughs> I definitely went ahead and grabbed this. Love it. This is really good for his skin. It doesn't get him too dry or anything like mm -hmm. that. So definitely check out the checkout area for any hidden gems. We can't go to TJ Maxx without checking out their whole hair and makeup and skincare line because you can find some fantastic really good deals. Stuff there. 
and which we did. Uh, the first thing we got was a set of bio silk. Uh, Lady V and I both have really, really dry hair. Uh, we have to be careful what we put on our hair. We usually go for um, you know, sensitive or uh, nexus where it's really light and moisturizing. Um, unfortunately, our hair is a type that after we use something for a while, you know, six, eight months, we end up having to try to change to something else, at least for a short time uh, and before we can go back to the old stuff, um, just to give the hair a break and whatever have you. So we picked up BioSilk. It's a set of shampoo, conditioner, and silk therapy. It's like an oil that you put in and we put a, a, an argon oil in our hair Every after we wash while, it yeah. quite often anyway. So. Um, that turned out to be really good. And then really you picked good. up this to go with it. Yes, yeah, so this is um, a leave-in uh, moisturizing spray. Again, we use, I tend to go to uh, Sally's quite a bit and get uh, the Ion brand mm -hmm. uh, of this stuff. And actually, what I paid for this, for the uh, BioSilk at TJ Maxx was comparative to what I spent at Sally's or usually spend at Sally's. So I decided to go ahead and get this brand uh, because I've heard a lot about it. So. Nice. All right, what else do we have? Okay, this one you found and then the last one I did, so. Yeah, this is a 10-in-1 leave-in treatment. And I actually, I found this before I found the BioSilk. And I. You meant to only get one, I guess? Yeah, I probably <laughs> should have only gotten one, but you know, it'll end up oh, getting well. used because we use this stuff. Uh, both of us use a, a leave-in spray conditioner after we wash our hair. So, you know, it, it will go quick with two of us using it. So what I found is by Natural Love, it is Soft Waves Salt-Free Texture Mist with Rose. Um, it's supposed to help volumize your hair and give you a little bit more oomph, but I figured it would be nice even if it just kind of refreshes your scalp and hair scent after a few days after mm -hmm. you wash or if you're, you're working out regularly and your hair's getting sweaty, just a nice little refresher. And so I, I picked it up because I like the scent of rose a lot. And, <laughs> oh, it is nice. Mm, it is. That would be really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next. So we were introduced to Mario Badesh, or Badescio. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced. I think it's Badescio. Um, up in New Jersey at... Blue Mercury. Yeah, the store is a... Blue Mercury. Mm -hmm. And we happened to find this hand cream kit holiday collection at uh, TJ Maxx. As you can see, it was originally retailed at 19 and then it got marked down numerous times until the final price for all three was $8. $8 so so I really definitely good. love that. If any, if, um, any of you have tried Mario Batista, or if you haven't, it is a very, very good brand. It is. I yeah, would not say it's all natural, but it is very clean ingredients. Yeah, I have turned to a lot of their skincare. Um, I have not been disappointed in anything. They oh. do uh, body body care. There's body lotion. Mm -hmm. There's soap. There's yep. face soap for several different types, whether you have sensitive skin, oily skin, everything in between. Yep. There's... Um, there's a spray-on mist that we absolutely love. It comes in uh, rose, lavender, and there's a fresh cucumber mm -hmm. uh, spray that we love. Um, there's moisturizers. There's eye creams. They have a whole line of stuff. Definitely check and, them out online. Yeah, and for it's not uh, it's not a drugstore brand by any means. It's in the upper you know that upper echelon of, of name brand stuff, but their prices are reasonable. Their prices are not sky high to where you're spending. It definitely is $100 not up there with like Estee Lauder yeah. and Mac and everything. Um, you know, my personal opinion on a lot of that stuff is you're paying for the name. And so mm -hmm. um, I go out searching for good products that work. I don't care what name brand they are. I really don't. It doesn't mean uh, you know anything to me. I care about the product working at a reasonable price. Yep. That's you know that's what we go and for. And as you can so. see, all these are made with vitamin E. Oh, you're getting a lot of, there we go. Vitamin E, and we have lavender, rose, and special hand cream. Okay. That was a really good deal. I can't wait, because yes. I love their hand cream. I'm yeah, I've, I've had night. both the lavender and the rose before. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried the special hand yeah, cream yet. Yeah, I love yet. it. Love it at night. I came across a hand care set, and this is um, a large thing of soap, 
hand soap and lotion. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so that you can see it. Yeah, the design on the bottle is pretty. It is. Whoops. Oh goodness gracious, they put that like that glue pad glue, on it. Yeah, and I can get it off. But anyway, it's a uh, honeysuckle, which I love the smell of honeysuckle, the scent of honeysuckle. <laughs> um, so you, as you can see, you've got a big, big bottle, bottle of both lotion. soap and lotion. So this is going to go in my bathroom. Um, and this was actually on clearance for $5 for wow. the entire set. So for $5, you can't bypass that. And like I said, I love the scent. So great, great find. All right. And then we hit the makeup. Yep. <laughs> the makeup and the skincare area. Now, TJ Maxx has a line or carries um, makeup. It is very hit and miss in that you have several name brands. You can find uh, Laura Mercier. You can find The Body Shop. Um, I even saw some Clinique there. I saw uh, a couple uh, MAC items. Yeah. So, yeah, there's MAC there. Yeah. Um, but... I've, had, I've found Bare Minerals before, too. They What they carry is very limited. So, you have to, you know, if you find... Let's say MAC lipstick, they're only going to have maybe three or four different shades. That may work for you, it may not. It's a hit and miss. Which is kind of sad when you find a brand that you really like the yeah. formula of and then they don't have a color that works for you. But you can find this stuff at a lot reduced price. So if you can go in there and find the color you're looking for, you've hit jackpot for the day because you've hit a really good deal and not paid full price that you would if you went to Sephora or um, Ulta. Ulta or any place else that sells this stuff. So, okay, so what Just getting ready to ask you if you need help with that package. <laughs> I was having power problems with the package. <laughs> <laughs> so, I found a couple really cute lip items. The first one I found for Alice because she tends to wear a lot darker colors than me. As you can see, she's like yes. one shade darker than me. <laughs> so she gets to get away with all the really fun, pretty colors. And I found this really pretty satiny here, let me, purple that I, I think that. is gonna look so darling for, on her. For fall. Actually, you know what? Since we're here, let's do some swatching. Actually, that's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it is. I might be able to borrow that. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, it was supposed to be mine. It will remain to see whether it ends up being mine or hers. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to go ahead and let's just go ahead and get all the lip products okay, out of the way. Okay, good. Uh, another one that I found that I have had a sample item of before is the Lipstick Queen. This brand, quite often, their lipsticks, um, they don't come out looking like this. They have a certain ingredient in it that helps. Um, it's it's, supposed to H, turn it's like to your the HP. It goes pH, with your H, pH. pH. Yeah, pH. It's HP. supposed to turn to the to the um, natural shade, shade of, of you. So shade I think, I yeah, I believe this one is supposed to be a pink as well. And this one is Most called Highway not. 66. And so I'm going to swatch them. And as you can see, it's already turning like a nude pink on my hand. So that's really cute. Keeping with Lipstick Queen, I found a um, a liner, a lip liner. And this one was really cute. This was the only color they had. But since I tend to go with a lot of uh, natural colors, really light colors, I thought that would be cute. And you can see that right there. That actually is gonna go really good with the, the lipstick. Uh -huh, that should go great. They're both with like it, a yeah. nice little peachy nude mm -hmm. color. Which is right up your alley. Right up my alley. And then the last one we found, as we said a minute ago, that we've sometimes found bare minerals. We found bare minerals liquid lipstick. I have had a few of their liquid lipsticks before. I love bare minerals and how light they are. And let's just I've got one that Ooh! That is going to be a good one for fall. Yes. Alice might actually. Uh, that one will be, yeah. That's Alice. Yeah. Okay, never mind. You get the bare minerals, I'll take the Laura Mercier. Okay. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just going to reach over here and grab a tissue to wipe my hand off. Okay. So when we went over, well, let's see, we'll keep with the makeup. I found this is a Rose Quartz Illuminating Powder. So it's, it's a highlighter. And it is by the cream, the cream, yeah, the cream shop. 
the cream shop. Yeah. I've actually never heard of that. But I have not tried this brand before, but this is a got a pinkish to it, mm -hmm. a pinkish tint to it as the color of the, the lid represents. And I've had a really hard time trying to find pink highlighter. I like pink highlighter. Mm -hmm. um, I have a liquid one that I bought, uh, was, I think it's a Wet n Wild that I picked up at Dollar, Dollar Tree and that I absolutely love. So I thought, oh, okay, this, so this is crystal pink. And that is so, darling. Yes, so I think I got that to try. And I picked up some blush. Now, the reason why I picked up this blush it was two things. First of all, I have a tiny little sample of hourglass. hourglass that I have used literally for three years now. <laughs> Love the stuff, but I'm about to hit pan. We don't exactly abide by the rules that you're only supposed to use your makeup for six no. months. <laughs> um, I'm about to hit pan. It's a suggestion, and, not a rule. Yeah, <laughs> I knew I needed something else and the price for hourglass is extremely expensive. Even the travel um, size. Yeah, even the travel size is really bad. I happened to pick up a bronzer by this same company, I'm almost positive the same company, at a TJ Maxx. In Florida. In Florida, almost two years ago, right before the sickness hit, we were down there doing shows. And I ran out of my bronzer and I needed something and so I picked it up just to see if it'd work and I loved it. And I have since completely ran out of it and I can't find any more. But uh, I can probably order it straight through the company. But so I anyway. know, one of these lipsticks smells really good. Oh, wow. Well, wonder which I'm one not it is. Well, yeah. <laughs> so when I saw this, um, I was like, you know what? I'm almost out of blush. I need Ooh. something. And I had such a good uh, luck with the bronzer. We're going to go ahead and try it. So this is uh, Ellen Tracy. And it's, if you can see here, I'm going to try to get there the glare go. out of it. It's three different shades, which I like just to swirl the brush around and get a kind of a combination of everything. So, so. the scented one was actually the Laura Mercier. Oh, Wow, it's kind of like a berry. Yeah, that that's very unique. That is not. Yeah, it's, it's some kind of a berry. So. I'm, I'm not thrown off by it. I just I happen. Wow, that's, I that's happen unusual. to get a whiff of something. I'm like, you know what? There used to be a My Little Pony when I was little. That smelled just like this. Really? Because that they had the different symbols on the My Little Ponies, uh -huh. and it came scented. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so we also picked up a deep hydration sleeping mask by Clean Beauty. And we have tried out numerous of Clean Beauty's products. I've got a couple serums and I've got a uh, facial I think I've mist. got a yeah, facial mist and we have loved everything we've tried. We've had really, really good luck with them. So we decided to get this and try it. And then finishing up my haul mm -hmm. is the body shop um micellar water and this again was on clearance we only paid three dollars for it um uh, but for you know we i, I you use uh, micellar water yeah. to take your makeup off and i do too so both of us use we've gotten um reusable cloth little rounds mm -hmm. for wiping the makeup off and so we like to use those instead of the throwaway ones as much as possible well it helps the environment it does you have all that cotton sitting out in the landfill someplace so next we have an item that actually Mr. Brown found for us because he joined us that day. We went shopping and it is actually an As Seen on TV item, which as a lot of you know, some of these products work, some of them not so much. So I was a little hesitant at first, but this is what sold me. Uh, I said, try me and I'm gonna turn this on. Ooh, and let you get, I don't know if you can, there. We'll hold it up. How's that? Anyway, it is a very, very bright light. So, I'm going to... <laughs> but we picked up two of these because they were only $7 a piece. And I cannot do it right now because it's super hot. Um, but as soon as it cools down so that it won't melt the batteries, because this is ran by batteries, uh, I'm going to put one of these out in my car because uh, to me, this is the perfect emergency light. Uh, there has been times at shows that we need light where it's just... Um, if you break down in the middle of the road at could, night. Yeah, and you know, we're coming home late at night. I always prefer to have a light. And so these would work out great. But I think they'll work out for our shows too. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got can, a little hook at the yeah, top. Yeah, you can hang them it. up or stand it up, either one. Um, so it's, so you can yeah. show the back or some, they show what you can do with it oh, on the back. Okay. Let me show you the back here. 
Yep. Angle it just a little bit. There you go. Okay, there we go. So anyway, I thought for the money, these would be great. Keep as emergency. Um, you know, we're out in the country, as many of you know, so we tend to lose power once in a while, especially if a storm comes through. We're in, you know, hurricane land of North Carolina. Um, and if we lose power out here, we're out for a while before they can get to us. So yep. I am constantly keeping my eye out for uh, battery operated lights and we've got battery operated candles sitting throughout this house just because I love the ambiance that it puts out and I know it's safe with animals being that it's not an actual flame. Um, so I think this is a great addition for emergency lighting purposes, but also for the car and for shows. You know, I remember the first year that we lost power and we didn't have those candles. I took and MacGyvered is what my dad likes to call it all the little tiny flashlights that have a little string on them to the ceiling fan strings. Yes. And that way you could just click the, the little light on and you had a little spotlight in the middle of the room. And I went uh, through it. Matter of fact, I think our both bathrooms still have that, don't they? Your bathroom and the back room do. Okay, do. yeah. I know that my bathroom is too small. It doesn't no, have a ceiling fan. It doesn't have a ceiling fan. Yeah, okay. My, my <laughs> bathroom is still set up that way, though. Yep. And it, it just comes in very handy if we happen to lose power, so. Now, I do have a small little story to tell about going to uh, TJ Maxx. I was browsing around. Uh, it was actually right where I found the outfit that I'm going to show you in just a minute. I, I was just browsing around, and Mr. Brown was trailing behind me just as happy as could be. Yeah, I had ran to the restroom for yep. a moment. And... Yeah, he, he doesn't like to leave me by myself in the store, especially if we're out shopping. He, you know, so he stays with me when we're walking. And this lady comes up to me and she goes, excuse me, miss, is he your husband? And which I thought was hysterical because this is the second <laughs> time it's happened. Second time, actually, both times have happened since I met my fiance. Yep. The first time was the day that I met him. Um, and of course I said, no, he's my father. And she goes, oh, well, I didn't mean anything by that. I just wanted to, to stop you and say that he's so patient. <laughs> and you know, he took that as a compliment. He's, he goes and tells her the story that, you know, it was his granddaddy that taught him that, you know, whenever his grandma wanted to go shopping, his granddaddy would drive her, find a bench to sit on and hold all the bags as she went shopping. And when she was ready to go, he load everything up and take her back home. <laughs> so he's definitely quite the gentleman when we get ladies decide we want to go yes, out shopping. Yes, he is. And he he's just great. trails around with us. He has so much fun. He finds a couple things, you know, like these lights. Like the lights, yeah, that yep. he thinks can be useful and, you know, yep. adds that to our stats. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> but we had a wonderful time. Yes, we did. So, my last two things were really cute finds for me. I found a set of gold hoop earrings, really tiny. I don't really like a lot of big earrings, although I am wearing fairly decent size today. <laughs> but my favorite ones are the small ones. And these are actually sterling silver and gold plated. So, was really excited to find these and for sterling silver they were only ten dollars that is not, really good that's a good price yeah and then my last find i loved this because it was only twenty dollars <laughs> for three items can't beat it and it was yet again another like sleep slash lounge outfit and it came with a tank top does it say something on it be kind be kind um be kind and get lots of sleep oh, definitely could use that so you have a tank top, a cutesy pair of shorts, and a throw over, no oh goodness, where's the top of it? There we go. <laughs> a throw over cardigan hoodie. So there's your hoodie part. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you the back. That is just too cute. I love how soft this material is. It is so is. soft. I, is, I wish I could give it to almost, you through the screen so you could feel how soft this is. It almost reminds me of silk. I mean, it's not. No, way, no it's but not. But it, it's got that feel to it. It's just super, super soft. Yep. Super, fleece super almost. Soft. It kind of feels like fleece. Fleece is super soft. Yeah, but, but it's, it's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter. It's not fleece at all. So that concludes the Walmart slash TJ Maxx. Oh, yeah. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please remember to hit the thumbs up button. It helps our channel out tremendously. Also, if you've not subscribed, hit that button also and then hit the bell so that you'll be notified when we have new videos come up. Currently, Which, we're doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos. Three times a so, week. Uh, also, remember first and foremost that we are authors. 
our books are behind us. Uh, the link is down below on our website, so check those out. Uh, we are currently working um, working on book more two. books, book two of book the, two Dragon of the Dragons. O yeah, the Dragon O's series. So uh, we'll be bringing you updates on that as we get going on it. And until next time, have a great day. Bye. Bye.